This is my story of how I went from this to this and how you can as well. Hi, my name is David Sa. I'm a portrait photographer, content creator, and educator. And if you're new to this channel, I create content about posing, photography, and identity so I can ultimately help people find confidence in their own skin and express the way they want to. Quick little disclaimer, I do want to highlight that this is my photogenic journey, so take it with a grain of salt, but I do believe there's a lot of valuable things to take away. Before we begin, I do want to define what photogenic really means. The simplest definition on Google is being attractive in photos. I personally love this simple definition because it helps with the big misconception society has about being photogenic, which is that is dictated by genetics and genetics alone. You're either born photogenic or not. If we think about just what makes someone attractive in life, I truly believe when we can learn to be our most confident selves, we then become attractive to others, but more importantly, ourselves. What happens if we don't even know what is attractive to us because we don't even know who we are? And that's where the story begins five years ago. It's 2017. I just got out of college, but I also just got out of a five-year-long college relationship. And I had no clue who I was as an individual outside of this relationship. I had a lot of confidence when it came to being a businessman, but my self-esteem, probably all-time low. It competes with when I was in middle school, probably. <laughs> if I think about why I had such low self-esteem, this is, this, is, this is like therapy, huh? <laughs> I think I found a lot of security in the relationship. So having a lot of safety in the relationship, having my identity tied to the relationship, brought well, confidence in the relationship. But if you strip all that away, that anchor was gone. Like an astronaut lost in space is what I'm doing. Uh, without the little tether, it got broken off and I'm just floating. I don't know who I am in a new city, which should be exciting. But for someone who's just kind of lost, I didn't know how to navigate my, that much myself. I wasn't feeling good about myself mentally, physically, spiritually. That whole, I guess, whatever was left from that relationship, I would just fill it with work. And at that point, if I think about how photogenic was David from five years ago, zero. Absolutely. I was not attractive in photos, let alone attractive in general. So that begs the question, what makes someone attractive in the first place. Let's talk about this. If we could think about a list of what makes someone attractive. By the way, this list is very expansive because what someone finds attractive is very important. It's very subjective. I could find someone attractive for the smell of their hair. Someone might find that weird. You might find that weird. Attractiveness is way beyond just the looks. But let's talk about this. I'm thinking large picture first. If I see someone on the street, maybe it's how they're dressed, how they're walking, how their hair is bellowing in the wind. Attractiveness can go really large picture to these minor little details. But what about in photos? Now, one really cool way to think about this is think about all the experts involved in a high production photo shoot. Imagine something like the iconic Kim K photo. Kim K did not just roll out of bed and say, let me just uh, pour myself a cup of wine and then magically let me let me take a selfie put the phone on a tripod over there No, I'm imagining at least hair and makeup creative designer creative director Assistants of the director to book the photo shoot all that stuff the lighting guy the photographer They are all there to make an amazing photo. So you're like, okay, David. I mean we, we get it right? I mean, we're not a Vogue magazine. So how does this apply to us becoming photogenic? So let's fast forward two years in my life. The one really important thing that happened out of that breakup is that I started doing things for myself. No, I had to start doing things for myself. Yes, there was a quick moment of me just not wanting to get out of bed, but I had to get on with life. I had to start doing a lot of things for me, myself, and I. What I started noticing is I started to feel better about myself. I started to define who I was for myself. I started to find preferences of what looked good on me in terms of clothes. I started to feel better about how I ate and all this stuff together, I started to become a little bit more confident in who I was. And this is the point where I started creating content on TikTok. There was a big viral boom 
So I started exploring even more. I remember the first time I did a photo shoot for myself was a K-pop makeover. I bought myself makeup for the first time. As weird and uncomfortable that whole process was, I felt good about the photos. And what was even more influential at that point wasn't me liking the photos. It was hearing from other people online that I looked good. I suddenly feel really great. I got a little ego boost. My self-esteem started to, ooh, okay. And shortly after, I said, you know what? I'm gonna paint my nails black and do a e-boy theme photo shoot. <laughs> this is the first time I ever got thirst comments. I've never seen myself as someone who's even sexy. Like it was challenging who I thought I was as I was still building my identity outside of this relationship. It's something I had to go through. I had to get out of that relationship. There had to be a trigger. I had to go through the turmoil. That was so pivotal to me starting this journey of becoming photogenic. But even bigger than that, finding who I was and finding confidence in who I was. Which brings us to what I call the photogenic loop. If you do this loop, you will endlessly become more attractive in photos, and more attractive in photos, more attractive in photos. Let me explain. You take an action, you gain a skill slash knowledge or experience, and you get positive feedback from yourself or others. You gain confidence and motivation to then do another action. When you take action, you gain experience, skills, or knowledge, and you receive positive feedback from yourself or others, then you feel good, then it motivates you to take more action. Because you can come in from anywhere. You could have received a compliment on the street that made you feel good, therefore motivated you to go out more. Essentially, we're in a loop that not only helps us become attractive in photos, but helps us push boundaries, explore our world, explore our palettes, build confidence, and grow as an individual. Two really important aspects to this is confidence and identity. Every time we complete that loop, our confidence grows, our identity grows, because every time we gain experience through action, gain skill and knowledge, it forms a foundation that adds on top of each other. I built my foundation. I started buying clothes. And at first, when I put on the clothes, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. So receiving that first set of positive feedback from other people really helped influence that motivation and that experience in a positive way to a point where I could build the skills to know about styling, to then be able to give myself positive feedback and not rely on other people. I think this is a very important point. And as I went from gaining experiences, gaining skills, gaining confidence, finding out more about who I am, who I want to be, I also can start giving myself the positive feedback and reassuring myself. And when we can get to a place of feeling so secure in our skin, we can just be our authentic selves. Hence, we are photogenic. So let's fast forward to now, 2022, five years after ending that relationship. I have done multiple photo shoots of myself, explored so many different styles of outfits. I have grown in who I am. It, it's not because I want to become attractive. It's because I want to keep growing and seeking. This is where I am now where my idea of self has grown. I'm constantly learning and seeking and being more curious. I feel great in my skin and I feel photogenic. That loop that I mentioned, I said it's about how to become photogenic. But essentially what it is, it's a how to build your confidence loop, how to build your identity loop. And I think that's possibly the biggest takeaway of this. And that's how I became photogenic in five years and how I continue to keep growing as a human and as a person and how you can as well. If this was a good motivation for you and you want to know what your next set of actions should be, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll create some videos on good actionable tips to take to become photogenic and start you on your photogenic loop. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss those videos and keep slaying and I will see you next time.